This is the grade 7 math practice test for TN Ready. This is question number 15 on this version. Camilla spins a game spinner 1,800 times. Camilla must be super fun at parties. The spinner is divided into six equally spared, uh, spaced sections numbered 1 through 6. Now, this is about to be a time when you'll probably see, I don't know, some of the worst drawing you've ever seen. So she has her spinner here. It's hard to draw with this thing. Even I can't stomach that. There we go. So she has it equally spaced out. Now you're going to lie to yourself and pretend that each of these is the same size. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what she's dealing with. And she's spun the thing 1,800 times, or 1,800 times. The spinner is divided equally into six equally spaced sections. How many times, theoretically, should she expect to spin a two? Well, there's nothing in here that says that Camilla has it set up in some way that would make it more likely to get one over the other. So that means she has an equally likely chance of landing on the two if she does anything else. So all I need to do is take this 1800 and I need to break it into six parts or maybe you use the division symbol whatever your brain sees for division. You need to break it up into six parts, which is six times three is 18. So I do three here, 18 divided by six is three, and I have a couple zeros left over. So I can assume that she's going to end up landing on it 300 times. Camilla, the most exciting person that we know, spins a spinner 1,800 times, and it's just as likely that she lands on 300 number twos as it is she lands on 300 number fours. Now practically and experimentally, very unlikely that she'll hit that exact number, but if we were to expand the number of spins out, you know, to ridiculous amounts, it, the numbers will become much more even over time, theoretically, than they will when we first do it 1,800 times. So if you want to go home and spin a spinner 1,800 times, like, live your best life, folks, do whatever you want, but theoretically, we're going to evenly distribute that information out so my chances of getting it are 300. This is a calculator allowed section. If you don't want to take a risk that you will miss this because the thing is you do all the work, your teacher makes you do all this homework and you have to do all these assignments all to get to this test and then you make a mistake where you write the wrong number down and you pick 30. Come on, get it together. Just use the calculator. Nobody's going to judge you. Go in. I mean, this is the one of the most basic online calculators ever. It's from like Windows 98 or something. Uh, so I'm just going to divide by 6 and get 300. Just to make sure that you check over it, get the answer. This is not a difficult question, but make sure you don't make a careless mistake that costs you because you're trying to hustle through it so you can get there at the end and get your own spinner and spin it 1,800 times before the test time's up.